Juneteenth will be celebrated as a national holiday this year, and after the pandemic moved events online, this weekend celebrations will be particularly special. CBS 2's Dana Tyler spoke with the founder of Juneteenth New York about what to expect at this weekend's festival. This year, Juneteenth will officially be celebrated on Monday, June 20th. The holiday commemorates June 19th, 1865, when enslaved people in Galveston, Texas, heard about the abolition of slavery, which had happened two years earlier with the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863. Juneteenth is observed as a celebration of black history and culture for the past 12 years. The Juneteenth New York Festival has grown into one of the largest events marking Freedom Day for African Americans. The festival kicks off virtually this Friday and then it will have in-person gatherings in Brooklyn on Saturday and Sunday and they have a whole slate of activities. There will be live performances, wellness activities, a fashion exhibition. Athenia Rodney, Juneteenth's founder and executive director joining me now. Thank you so much for being with us. This is a big year, isn't it? Because of COVID as well as the national holiday. Indeed, it is a very big year for us. Um, last year was the official time when we became, well, last year was when we became official. Sure. Um, and this year it's like, um, you know, expansion. So how did we expand? How did we help others uh, to see what Juneteenth really is? Uh, so really excited that we get to be on the platform and to have the 13 years of experience to share with everyone. So 5,000 people uh, you had attending in 2019, jumping to more than 20,000 uh, virtually, as we said, because of the pandemic. So as you look at this year, and the theme is unity in the Black Family Unit. Tell me, first of all, why mm -hmm. you chose that as the theme. Sure. Um, so as the theme, unity in the Black Family Unit, um, where it stems from for us is where we see families now. And mm -hmm. we wanted to encourage more family engagement, more unity when it comes to the family. Um, when we look back at how the unit the family unit was placed during slavery, it was very disfranchised. It was separatism. It was a man was the father of many children in different households because they were trying to procreate so that they could have more, so that they could either sell or have more labor in their house. That has continued to move on, unfortunately, in society. And that's something that we still have been trying to work through as a, as a, as a community. Um, and we are growing from it. Mm. Um, so we wanted to really focus on that, to talk about, to highlight some of the successes, and to even talk about some of the challenges in that space, because we can't have one without the other. And that's, that I, I'm sure will be part of the summit, which is virtual on Friday, uh, the 6th, 17th, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. You're going to talk about some really serious subjects. Uh, it is educating. It is giving us a status. Where are we now and what can we do? Is that a good Definitely. description? Yes. So on Friday, we are going to talk about the whole gamut of um, there's going to be some history that's going to be a part of it. There's going to be some um, educational components around health and wellness, around mental health, mm. around um, finance uh, as well. We're in person now and we're in Brooklyn for the Saturday yes. and Sunday events. Events. We're yes. exactly in Brooklyn, and just tell me a little bit about what will be happening Saturday. Sure, sure. So on Saturday, we will be at Gershwin Park, also known as Linden Park, which is right on Vermont and Linden Boulevard in East New York, Brooklyn. It's a huge park. A lot of people go there for um, track and field, for football and activities. So we on Vermont Street will have a whole host of vendors and local organizations, uh, nonprofits that will be there. Um, we definitely want you to come out and support them. Mm -hmm. Our Uber, one of our presenting sponsors, has um, so graciously supported the food restaurants in the neighborhood and the food trucks. So we'll have some amazing cuisine from some local um, Black restaurants. Nice. And then we also will have a full um, stage of activities going on there. In the park, we have 
uh, the Brooklyn Nets. We have the New York Liberty that will be doing clinics uh, oh for basketball. Goodness. And then we have the New York Rangers that will be doing clinics for um, hockey. So, and then right. we can't forget our Kings of Kwanzaa that will also be going on where we're highlighting some of our African-American men who have done amazing work in the Black community. That's 12 to 3 Saturday. And Sunday, Prospect Park uh, mm -hmm. concert. Uh, just a, a great yes. celebration of, of music. Yes, we will have not just music, but we'll also be highlighting some of our Black fashionistas, some artists in the industry. So we will have a, a fashion show. We will have um, Renee Knopfel, um from Zane, um, who used to be the highlight of my time back in the day. <laughs> so we are very excited to have her on. We will also have Aniko. Um, she is a TikTok phenomenon. So she will also be gracing our stage on that day as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, of most notoriety I want to share about our uh, Libations and Liberations quote project that we will be doing. Mm -hmm. Well, we will be asking individuals um, who have suffered loss mm -hmm. during COVID um, because we know that people were not able to, um, you know, to say their goodbyes to their loved ones. Uh, hospitals were, you know, just not in that space sure. to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to use something that has been a tradition in a Black community to um, bring it forward. Uh, and to, and to cement what the time has been. Um, so we're asking people to bring an item of clothing or something to commemorate someone that they've lost to create their own quilt square. And our goal big, is to get... Yes, go ahead. Our goal, yeah, I was saying, our goal is to get a 60 foot by 60 foot quilt that we can then share um, and have travel the world uh, to different museums um, all over the nation. So uh -huh. that, that, is, that is really the, my... <laughs> what I'm really looking forward yes. to Poignant seeing. and so important and lasting. Athenia Rodney, yes. thank you so much for uh, letting us know about all the activities Friday, sure. Saturday, and Sunday for Juneteenth. We appreciate your time. She's thank Juneteenth. You. You're welcome. New York's founder and executive director. Juneteenth New York festivities kick off virtually again Friday. Continue in person over the weekend. For more information about the 13th annual New York Juneteenth Festival, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.